Hi guys, I'm Brad, Brad the Builder. I'm going out to Andrew Flair's house out in the country. I've never been before. And I like to come out and see where my customers are living. So Andrew has asked me to design and build his new ranch. And this is one he's lived in for a little while. I've never been, so it's important that I come out and take a look and see all the stuff that he has on his ranch or farm. I understand he's got all kinds of toys. He's got a shed and a barn there. Building a new house was gonna be a great opportunity for Andrew to increase and maybe improve on what he has right now. So no sense in rebuilding the same thing twice. Looking at his farm and his house will give me a really good sense of size, how he lives in his house, what he'd like to do different next time. Everybody always would like a do-over when they build their house, and my job is to make sure that that doesn't happen when you build with uh, our construction. I think I'm coming on to Andrew's house. Here we go. So it's got a, it's got a nice drive, probably about a couple hundred yard drive lane. I think his new house, we're gonna be way off the, the beaten path, off the road, no one will be able to even see it. He's got all kinds of toys and trailers, so that's another thing we gotta figure out where to, where to park all this stuff, so when you pull up to his new house, that's not the first thing that you see. So I'll talk to Andrew about that. And uh, he's got a great looking two-story, kind of a nice farmhouse. So let's see what Andrew has in store for me today. That was a nice drive. Shoo! Nice place, Andrew. You finally made it. Oh, I can't wait to see what you got here and trying for me. Trying to get you out here, but it's been so dang cold. You yeah. finally got a nice, nice day. It's, still, it's always windy though. Is it? We got wind today. That's all right. It's nice out. What do you think? Well, I had a full tank of gas, so I can make sure I got here. It's quite a drive. It's it was, quite the drive. Yeah. But oh man, this is—is is this all yours? What am I looking at? Yeah. Yeah. So from the top timber, like the real tall stuff. Yes. And then the. Oh, the tall timber there. Oh, it, yeah, it basically runs a rectangle all the way, and then we can go to the back later. I'll show you the. We have, like, we have a cabin at the very end of the property, so I can show you all that. Oh, is there a pond? What's down we there? We have two ponds. Do you really? So we built we built one of the ponds. One was already here, and then we built a cabin, and then we built this. I want to see animals. this. Was this see, where you keep you all your toys? This, this is Wait, the, this are these is all the yours too? I'm they, looking at. Yeah. Lift them up and trick them out. Yeah, trick them out. We got tent. That thing's got heat and AC. It's it's like forty five thousand dollars. More than more than more than a truck. Yeah. Oh my goodness. crazy? Four wheelers so, with so, matching wraps. We need a bigger well, shop. Yeah, I mean, I don't. You don't park your pickup <laughs> no, outside, do you? Again, no. Why would I know? Well, actually, I do because my garage isn't big enough. So oh, we gotta fix that yeah, problem. We gotta fix too. that too. Yeah, we, we have need a lot of problems. Big barn, big garages. Let's see what we so got we, here. So we built this. Um, this is so. We nice. built this in spring of 2020. So it had been like this first spring when I moved here. Um, this was not. This was all like a grass hill. I, I got. I bought a skid loader. I I made the whole pad had them come out and uh just a pole barn just pole, barn. pole barn yep so it's on the inside it's 48 by 40 so 48 wide 40 deep and then it's got a 12 foot porch so it's a 60 by 40, 40. uh concrete footprint and you've got it pretty full so what are, what are we thinking for the next one how yeah. much is you're gonna want something bigger than this one of my buddies has one down in texas his is i want mine to have living quarters though this one does not okay. because i need to be able to cook like my raccoons and stuff without pissing off Macy. So what's a raccoon taste like? Raccoons but, aren't bad. Barbecue them. I mean, it's not bad. It's like a dark meat chicken. Really? And like a yeah. It's a little, raccoons not the best. Like about, beaver's better. Do you, beaver is the way to go. Beaver, not, beaver and bobcat are definitely the best. Oh my um, god. Do you eat the legs? Where, where's what? Yeah, the yeah. It's like a drum, like a, drum like a drumstick. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, my one of my buddies has a fifty by a hundred, but his is twenty five. Uh, living, so it'd be seventy-five by fifty would be his, and okay. it was so it's so it's, just twenty-five it's, it's like square a, feet of that is the living. So tw right. yeah, twenty-five to but, the this way, and then fifty deep. So it'd be like one more bay. Okay. So it'd be, it'd be so this is forty-eight. It would be seventy-five. Got it. So you'd add another twenty-five. So basically another stall. So and the volume. We, this is the good height. The height. What do we got here for doors? These sixteens. I think 14? these two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Fourteen, 14 foot. Yeah, yeah. that's. You can get a semi in. Yeah, that. that's why I did it. Yeah, okay. so you could put like a fifth Have wheel or something. Fuel. So we need a big. Um, so I'm thinking like so there's two doors. Yeah. Basically, imagine a third one. Like one more down. One more down. And then living quarters. 
on the other, other side. side. Yes. Yes. And how? What do we need to put in there? The living quarters. I mean, do you need two bedrooms, one bedroom? One bed, one bedroom, like a bunk room. Really not going to stay in there much, but okay. like full kitchen, full living room. Um, what else? A bathroom for sure, like a little shower. We'll probably need like a mud a room. big mud room, a huge mud room actually, okay. like a big walk-in mud room would be good. And then, and then just like a little bunk room, because I'm going to have like my computers, my camera gear. Um, and then all of our, and I want it to connect. So you kind of like, like we'd walk through a door here to the living. So like you come in, you can kind of get undressed, maybe in a little drop zone, hang up your fishing poles, your guns, and then have like, I want like a little cleaning station too that we could have like inside of the shop. Okay. And then you can walk in with so your the meat So everything, all cook. the mess, everything stays in the shop. Yeah. And then you can go you in. You take your meat and then you walk right into the kitchen. But have you ever, you ever ridden or driven in one of these no. guys? No. The mini excavator. I would love to figure that one out. <laughs> Does this one have a horn on it? Does it? Hump? Oh, this one. Uh, you know, it, it definitely has a horn. Jump in. Let me I'll check see if I can find out. the horn. So, when so I you've never you... you've never ridden one of these. No, I had a bobcat and about destroyed my driveway. I haven't figured. I okay. I drive boats and airplanes, but I've never driven one of these okay. things. Okay. So the so key, keys right there. Do you have to put like the brake on. No, or you're good. Just turn Just... the key. And then, let me see if there. Where is the? Oh, yeah, I found he, the horn. He found it before me. Yeah, you didn't know you had a horn. No. <laughs> so I, I don't even want to. You don't want to. You stuff. don't want to drive well, it. Well, I don't want to break your concrete floor. So what? Here, what? put that down. Yeah. You just pull that to you. Pull this back. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So we can we could build some cool stuff. Oh with this my thing. god, yeah. Wouldn't that be we awesome? We got the skid loader too. Oh, you just give me a little lesson and turn me loose. Yeah. All right, I don't want to fume, fume you out. All right. Nice. <laughs> So Jeez. we've got this. The skid loader is getting maintenance, but we've got that too. So we've got, <sighs> and these are I like to, I do like to keep these inside for sure because they don't do great in well, the winter. Well, the di this is diesel, right? Yeah, the it gels free, up. The gels up yeah. and all that. So you need to keep uh, this skid loader, at least a boat or two. We we'll um, have to write then, all these down to make a yeah. list and see how what yeah, how it positions what? inside the barn. Yeah, because we've got. Several side by sides. Where's your riding mowers? You got a right here. We got a rider right here. Have you ever seen these? These lever racks. These guys are actually local. Super nope. cool guys. They slide. Oh, isn't that nice? So you can like, you can sweep under it, clean it out. That, oh, but, so it's all weighted from but the it's, top. But it's pallet racking, so like you can put like a four wheeler up there if you wanted to. Wow, that so is we've got awesome. All of our junk, and they make them with like workbenches. So you could have like these. I want like a fishing one, a hunting one. So you have all this, and then over here would be like a lighted little workstation so you can like tinker with stuff and have like one dedicated just hunting, just fishing, just, you know, maintenance that's, stuff. That's awesome because yeah. look at how much, I mean. You, you, you save a you, ton of you space. Get, you get like both, you get this. You yeah. could have never have had that. Yeah. You keep telling me we need a gun room. Yeah. That's what happens when Beefcake Construction gets a hold of a gun room. So this, we built this. So, so it's not. There's no, there's no metal or steel. No, you could take wood. the chainsaw over there and yep. get right into it. Okay. But um, just to show you the amount of toys yeah. that we need what to. Uh, more, more fun stuff in that here. That we need to oh, have. Oh, look at this. So this is a DIY. So yeah, I keep telling you. This is DIY For, gun room. So, so we need a place to actually secure all these. Yeah. So what we've done on some other houses, we've taken like under the front stoop yeah. where it's all concrete around and yeah. we pour the lid in concrete yep. so that it's literally in like a, a vault. Yeah. You can never get to and put a nice heavy duty steel door. 50, what the heck a, is that's that? That's a 50 cal. That, is that the, that's the... That's the shell casing. That's the shell casing for that's that. A, yeah, full blown 50 cal. like shoots armor oh my tanks and... Gosh. Yeah. So anyways, we could use an actual real gun room because this is already full. Yeah. And this was They're like here. a, I think a seven by seven or six by six is kind of what we ended up... But we, we homemade everything. Do you I mean, have we, handguns? Because then we just put a it, few. We've I mean, done that. We, we'll put in drawers and yeah. glass so you can see them. Yeah, we've got a few. We got a few. Okay. But not a ton. But and then we, your but ammo. These are all th like thermal for coyote hunting and stuff at night. No kidding. So this we, is we, nice. we could use a gun room and a really big shop. Do you the, reload into your ammo? Yourself? I don't. I don't do that. Do that. Okay. I'm not. I, I don't trust myself. Yeah. yeah I've I, seen too many gun too many rounds, accidents. But, okay. Anyways, that's pretty much. This is the shop. Really nice. We, well, uh, I like what we're doing here. We, now we, I can take it up a few notches for yeah. you. All I mean, right. You can see we got we got plenty of stuff to uh, and like you saw everything out front. So we've got. So how many boats do you have? One, two. There's three, four, five, six. No, you keep seven. all those. I'll keep all those indoors, or what? How? Uh, you, I've got I've got them spread out in different properties. Okay. Which I probably will anyways, but I would say like it, two good sized boats like this is probably pretty common, and, and then side by sides, ATVs, and then. 
your minis and your shoes. Have you ever thought about like a lift? See all the volume you have where yeah. you can bring in a boat and lift it lift up. Lift it up and then put another one underneath it or a bobcat. That would be cool. You know, so yeah. then you get all this yeah, space it's, it's in here. It's just wasted space. You yeah. can't get to it. So that might be something you might want to look yeah. at. At least on one of the bases, and then you can just stack up stuff that you don't use very often. Right. So that uh, might work. But okay. well, there's a lot more to see well, besides this. Yeah, let's so go check it all go, out. Uh, the next up on the list will be trying to figure out a way for uh, us to efficiently and effectively keep the animals. Yeah, so we've got uh, Felicia, yeah. Tiffany, and then that's little ass. So she she gave birth to the little one here. I walk outside and there's a donkey. You didn't on the even ground. know. No, little baby donkey. So I mean, she came out. She's real small. Now yeah. she's now she's big. So that's little size. ass. We never Li come up with a new name. <laughs> little ass. Let little ass. Yeah. Little ass. Yeah. So that's little ass. She's a hey, cutie. Hey, everybody. It's Felicia, super chill. She's so, like she's the nicest donkey. And Tiffany's not bad. And then the the little horse this gets Car along great with Carlos. Him. Carlos. Yep. Yep. That's a boy. And then the, there's that that turkey's. That's good looking turkey, but he's mean. Yeah, oh, he's what does yeah, he do? Pedro. He, he'll he'll spur you. He'll jump up. He's got them spurs on the back. Oh, and he'll he'll get you. No, he tries to oh, take yeah. you out. Yeah, he'll take you out. Yeah. And this is Dale. Dale. Yeah, he's like a dog. I've taken him to the dog park. I've taken him fishing before. I took him to, I took him to tractor supply. Oh no! If you yeah, put you put him on a leash and he'll be he'll fine. He'll follow right yeah. with. What do you, when you walk in the tractor supply with Dale? <laughs> they just laugh. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, they think it's hilarious. <laughs> Dale. He's just like a little dog. He'll he'll follow you. You let him out, he'll follow you around. Like, uh, he's gotten out before and he'll just be sitting on my my doorstep waiting for me to come out and play with him. Is he's that, crazy. Is he one of the early ones? Look at that. This is on this, this is dude. Rick. He's he's the first goat I ever bought and I've is kept him. Is that right? Him. Rick. He's ornery. He'll headbutt you real so, good. Well, Good grief. Yeah, he'll knock you over too. Oh. He's ornery. Like he likes to fight. He's so why does Rick have horns? Is it because he's a male? And that's no, a female? That, he they cut the previous owners cut his. Oh. This guy, I knew the owners, and they had so him since Dale, he's a baby. You're covered. He got a ramming power right yeah, there. He'll knock you over. Does he like this or not? I can't oh yeah, tell. he likes to fight. You're right. He's that's a, Carol. Good. Carol the cow. Carol. Yeah, that Carol is, Baskin, she's I all have blonde. Never seen a long haired cow like yeah. that. Carol. Yeah, she's a but mini Carol mini or... Highland. Carol. 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 Yeah, Dude, she just what, hangs out. What do you have to do? Do you have to for these animals? Just feed them and water them? I mean, pretty does much. Does Carol? Does she have to go to the beautician ever? Get no, that? I've never, I've never got her. It's all natural. Yeah, she just looks good all the time. Oh my gosh. And then we got llama. That's just llama. And yeah. this is Steve. He's an alpaca. <laughs> so we, we we cut his hair like a little dinosaur. Where he's got like the little spikes kind oh, of. It's like a mohawk. That. Yeah. Yeah. So Steve. Jeez, Steve. And, then, and, and what's this guy's name? That's llama. There's just llama. llama. Yep, there's llama. And then this is Ralph, and he's uh, is, he's by himself because he's in rut, and he's, oh, not, he's, very, he's rut? not very happy. Yeah. Oh, is he not? No. Ralph? He shouldn't hurt anybody. He's looking for a date? You're all right. You're all right. Man. That noise, that's that noise he's making. Is that just a nervous? He just, yeah, he just does that when he's mad. Yeah. Oh, he's mad. Yeah, he, he either wants food or he wants to hang out with these guys. So if you put him in there with them right now, would it be he, a little... He'll attack the llama. Oh, he will? Trying to breed, yeah. Oh. She's, a, she's a female. Oh, so the, even though he, even though he, she's not a, uh, no, a camel, obviously he. Don't yeah, care. he doesn't just, care. He's no. not picky. No, he's not picky. Oh yeah, there Look, he goes. There he uh -oh, oh, yeah, he's, he's splashing. What goes in has to go yeah, out. Yeah, he's splashing. He's splashing. He's splashing. Yeah, that's what he does. He he pees and sprays it up on his back. It's, oh, he it's does. A, Mating thing. Yeah. That's supposed to be attractive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ralph, I just got up. Oh, you're you yep. getting it. Yeah, we're getting it. That's a first there. I don't think I've ever gotten sprayed by him. Yeah. For... You better watch out. He's got an eye for you now. Yeah. He's right here. Yeah. Ralph. He's yeah. He's spraying pretty good. Wow. And we've got the geese. Uh, there's one there. When the... does this rutting thing end? Because I have to. I hope soon. Um, <laughs> they said they said it should be about now, but he's clearly still in it. So, so. we need to build some big barns for them. How about the fencing? Is that high enough? It's high enough, but. They can bend it pretty easily, so we need to put in something, something a little like, stronger. Maybe a top rail, a pipe yeah. rail. Some, yeah. Because, I mean, uh, he can go about through anything. You know, there's not yeah. much that can keep him in. If he sees another good-looking camel, if we're... He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's yeah. gone. Yeah, so that's pretty so, much it for the animals. I mean, we've got... I what guess we got here? Is this a hen house? Yeah. Left so, behind? So we built, we built that for... Uh, we had uh, pigeons in there. We had chickens. We had ducks. And... You can see we wrapped it in chicken wire and whatever. The raccoons repelled down from the ceiling and killed like 80 of my uh, oh, pigeons in one Because there was day. no lid on it? No, no, there is, but they'll get through. Hey. They can get through a hole about like that. And they get in and just have a feast. Yeah. I had uh, quail in there. They ate quail in one night. Oh Came down here with just feathers. So we don't have anything in there now. But That's why you hunt. Yeah. Raccoon. Yeah. So we might need to build a pr an actual predator-proof 
like enclosure for the birds. And then, yeah, we have chicken coops. Um, and then, uh, I used to have a, a pet rabbit in there. He, uh, that one's gone? Yeah, he got KO'd. Um, is it, is it the there. coyotes and the raccoons? That, Mostly raccoons, raccoons honestly. They're, raccoons are worse than the coyotes. Um, so is this part of the property? This came with it? Yeah, so we built this door. What do you think about that? I like the door we, a lot. We used uh, wood from the cabin that you're going to see later. I was going to some more. Wood. What's, what's this wood over here? That's from our cabin. We can use all that. I think, yeah, we need to use this stuff. Yeah, we can use all Especially that. Especially in, uh, in your barn. Yeah. So this was that all left over from coating. the cabin. We this had a ton. Yes, yeah, we've built that. tons of stuff. We've built this. We've built. You got beehives. Yeah, we have. We used to have bees. They didn't produce any honey, so we got rid of them. But oh, you don't last long. If you don't produce around here, you're gone. You're gone. <laughs> you're gone. But I'll show you in here because we got more, even more toys. Uh, you did an awesome job on the barn door. Yeah, we in like a couple hours we put a light up there, solar. Yeah. Sliding barn door with reclaimed wood, left over. Let's see. Oh, look at all the toys we in got here. More, we have more toys. <laughs> this is the little toy shed. Yeah. You got the, the Jeeps. What little the Little ATVs. Heck? We got mini Jeeps. What, what is this? This little yeah, It's just a little mini Jeep. You can rip it around. It's like How a, fast will it go? It's like a five-speed. I don't know, probably 20, 25. No kidding? I've yeah. never seen one of those. Yeah, you we got, got two. We got two of them. And then we got, this is storage for all the feed. So we keep all the, the feed stored up in a way. Um, and then, yeah, uh, we put the lights in here. Like, this is all pretty, I mean, it's still run down. But I put the rock in here. And then we got, then got another little, little mini bike. Go karts go. and uh, some stuff for food plots. Wait, mo what, little what, mopeds. What the heck is? Looks like it's got. What's this little booger? So that goes on the. That goes on the back of this. And that is it, it, it puts your se ear, put your seeds down. In oh, there. it's a blow planter. Yeah. So this plants. That's why I put my so, my deer food plots with. Okay, but yeah. you're not doing any farming. It's all for. It's hunting. just for hunting. Yeah. Hunting stuff. Yep. So we got all this. There's a, there's a lot. I mean, yeah. This all is a whole this is shed. going to your new house. Yeah. Jeez, we're gonna need a we're gonna need a bigger barn. <laughs> that's that's what I'm thinking. It's like <laughs> either that or there are there's already two barns on the property. We might just need to fix oh, them. Oh, some of those sheds. And make stuff them. We need there. to make a Macy approved because she wants me to tear them out because they don't look nice. We can we can but put some of this can, reclaimed wood and yeah. make them look like old barns. That's what I'm thinking. They're they're kind of metal. Looking yeah, they they look just like this. Actually, they are just like this. And we'll so spruce them we, up. If we can get them Macy approved, then we have free buildings already there. Okay. Yeah. And we already have the wood. Yep. So then I'm all about saving money. I think we can do that. So, yep. So that's wow. all the all the toys. This is it. Lots, all of, kinds lots of junk. Stuff. This so, is awesome. Well, we'll jump, let's jump in the side by side. Um, I want to go show the, you the, uh, the, the ponds, ponds, right? Yeah. Yep, let's go see the ponds. Yeah. So you obviously bought those. I've seen where you take the big blue tubs. Tubs. Yeah. And, Put a little water in them, then yep. it makes them a little more displaced. But yeah, I mean, it's it wasn't meant to last forever, but it was the first time I've ever built anything no, I, like it. So I it think turned it out decent. Turned out awesome. Well, what, came, what do we I got? say the dock came off of that post. Otherwise, it's usually not this shaky. Oh, I see. It just from the it's ice just, it popped. Yeah, up. the water is also really, really I'm, high. Right I'm now. amazed that. Uh, but yeah, tons of like right now, you probably go catch a bass, even with this water being this cold because it's so clear. You stocked all this yourself? There before? was some fish in it, but we've we've. It's really we put a lot of fish really in it. clean. Really yeah, clear. we put a ton of fish. in so do you feed them constantly? Then? Yeah, so in the summer we have automatic feeders that go off and it shoots some pellets all the time. So that feeds the bluegills and then the bass come eat the bluegills. Nice. So it's like a whole oh, cycle. Whole cycle. Yep. Whoop. Hang yeah, on. That, all, that all got broken off from the, the Whoop, ice. Yeah, the ice is... That ice <clears throat> is pretty rough on those docks. So I see another house. That's is the, that... Yeah, that's the cabin we built. You want to go see that? That's not the neighbor's? No, that's ours. That's yours? Let's yeah. go see that. That looks a little more well built than the... Uh, the COVID crib. <laughs> the COVID crib. This came with the property or Correct. you built? Okay, no, then the, there's another one up there. No, so this this one, the, the pond's down here. Oh, there's cabinets. another one. Okay. Yep. So this one had an overflow into a creek. So I went down there and you know Chad the dirt guy. Yeah. I called Chad and said, hey, you want to come put a dam across this this spillway? And he's like, yeah. So Chad, that was the first time Chad ever worked with me was this. Is that right? Yeah. So he's, you've been keeping him busy. And I've kept him busy ever since. <laughs> he built one good pond and now he can't get rid of me. So I ordered this online, it's a kit. They just, a flatbed semi brings you all this and they give you an instruction booklet and they say, here you go. And we had to put it together. No kidding. It's Wind a lot. Windows, doors, everything. Everything. No, nothing. Mm, everything. The only thing we did was we put uh, plywood on in the loft in there and then we put plywood on the roof and that's where all that extra lumber came from down there that we didn't use. You can pick it up and move it. Chad wants to. Oh my gosh. 
So we well, that's you've got some pretty narrow roads getting out of here. Chad, though. Chad said he thinks he can. I said if you do it, I'll film it. Yeah, he was serious. That would be. I thought because we can move, we can cut it in half. But if you can get it out of here, that would be. I mean, all it is, it's just we poured those concrete yeah, things, we augured them down. You, just, you can pick this whole thing up. Can you go that way to get out of here, or is that, you need a bridge? You can, but it's, it, the bridge is pretty narrow. You'd have to, he, if he came, he would have to blow that whole wall out, and then we have to haul it up. He said he wanted to do it. No though. kidding? Yeah. I mean, well, that'd be a fun one. No, so you got a, a loft? So, there's a lo so, yeah, see, this is what happens when you put the, pl the flooring in in the winter, when it's all... Shrunk. Oh, it just has to get acclimated. So you ever in the it? summer it expanded and bubbled. Oh, I see. We cut it. We didn't leave enough room, room around. On all the end. So we, we, if we want to do, it, we need to gut the whole thing and but take a razor. Around you know what? This could, there's a, there's a way you can fix this. Is there? Like, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I might. I'll call you when we need to yeah. fix it. We've got all of our mounts. We got river otter. I trapped. Did you, did you, oh, that came, I trapped I got it here. Uh, no, that was on my farm. Yeah. We trapped him though. Oh, I see those on the Platte River. They're they're cool. Yeah. And we got a badger. He's Ooh, mean. Oh man. Uh, look at that guy. Yeah, he'll tear you up. He was pretty wow. pissed when I trapped him. Is that here oh, in Nebraska? Uh, yeah. We, and this bob, this bobcat came from here. Oh, that was back that. here in the backyard. And you eat those? Oh yeah, they're great. I can't even imagine. Where do you eat the back? The back strap. Right Just, there. Just they've got back strips that run down the spine. Does it, it taste it, like it, chicken? I, I would, it, it tastes like chicken, but it's the texture of steak, so it's a super moist chicken. It's, really? it's better than chicken or steak. It's my who, favorite meat. Who told you you could do that? Did, I mean, you just do it and hope you don't get sick. Yeah. You know, oh, that's one of those things. Go right. Goose, it, duck, turkey. Wait, wait, what, does that come out that, of the... Uh, someone <clears throat> just brought that. Oh, okay. That's not a real one. So, yeah. Wood, you burning, got, wood you, burning stove. I mean, it'll, it'll cook you in here. I bet you. This thing would do it. Looks like you get a little makeshift fan to... Yeah. So that, have you ever seen these? Huh. So the heat, it's heat powered. There's nothing to it. Oh. When you, it gets you, hot, when it, it gets hot, it, it goes and it blows. Yeah. So it's like, I was mind blown when I bought it. Unbelievable. Yeah. So it'll, it'll keep it warm in here. Yep. So this, so this, this place heats up pretty good, and then we've got our little kitchen. We have a blackstone. There's no vent, so that's definitely not safe all the time. But well, he's um, got to open up the windows. Yeah, this so is like cooking. You in just a open up garage. the window. And then these, I bought a butcher block, cut it in half, and just glued it onto these. I bought these at like Home Depot, so we made it like super cheap, you know, yeah. DIY as we can get it. You got no covers on this, and you in, got exposed in the, wires. In the, in the Romex is just yeah, everywhere. Romex, yeah, <laughs> just don't touch it with wet hands. There's also like a hot. There's a hot ground somewhere in here. We got so, we, me, Jake and I were wiring that. We got we had it all shut off and we got we got smoked. We got did zapped. You? Yeah, really? Zinc did yeah. So there's a hot ground somewhere. Oh. We don't know where the. <laughs> there's your solar panels outside. So all this is being run off those couple yep. solar panels. Yep. Face them face them south. It'll charge up these batteries in the inverter. We put this breaker box in. There's your controller. Wow. So it's totally was that part after. of the kit too? No. No. Yeah, we had to figure so. all this out. Oh. Yeah, this is all aftermarket. I like the way it smells in here. It's nice. So it's got a good, it's good, yeah. got a good scent. So yeah, and then the loft. You don't, you don't use got, this very much anymore, or what? We, not, not a ton, not as much as I wish we did. But like, there's a window up there yeah. with a couple Let's beds. Yeah, you can go up there. You can hunt deer from that window because they come down from the hill. So it's we, like a we, little sniper tower. Yeah, we laid up in there and we're hunting deer this year. Yeah. So then you're in here, you're watching TV, you're warm, eating food, and all of a it's like, oh, there's a deer, and you shoot them. We like to hunt in comfort I, out I here. Like, I could hunt with you. Yeah. Oh, could, yeah. We don't rough it. You don't go out in the cold where it's <laughs> no. like wind blowing, and no. you go sit in a duck blind freezing. No, this is our blind right here. Nice. Yeah. yeah. This, I don't think you'd be nice to find a way to take this. I know. I mean, we hand built this thing. From, yeah, it's a lot of sentimental value. Yeah, right? I, I know. I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of it. And the door opens and shuts. That's always the hard part, trying to get these <laughs> to fit right. Yeah, nice. No, we didn't well, have I'm any impressed help. how you know how to do all this. Oh, stuff. I don't. I mean, you just, you just, but, you just do it. But, you, but it, you it, 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 it turned out, out nice. YouTube it. It's square. It's not. I don't feel like I'm in a leaning house. You know. <laughs> no. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we got so, a ceiling fan. I mean, everything works. Yeah, I got a little dead zoo in here, and <laughs> here's <laughs> what's left of the turk, the other turkey. Yeah, I know. That's what we need. That's what we need to do to Pedro. Get him mounted, but. So camel, you can camel get camel extra shoes for your guests? Yeah, so that way you come, because you see how muddy it is. Oh, so then everyone, you, everyone leaves their boots out there and everyone has fuzzy Crocs for the winter oh. to stay warm. Man, you are a comfort. Oh, yeah. Comfort hunter. We, <laughs> I like us. it. That's us. I was just amazed that this, these two solar. Just, just those two. Can power up this place. Yeah, just those two. Because I've heard like little war stories that, you know, it doesn't, like if you're building like an RV yeah. and, and something that they don't really keep up, but looks like it's doing a great job. Yeah, that's. Well, it's huh. done what it needs to do. So the kit, what'd that cost roughly? 30. No kidding. Yep. So that how long ago? That was pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Yep. Pre so yeah. I don't even want to know Take what it costs now. Take it times two now. Yeah.
the lumber. It's worth more than copper. I know, it? right? It's crazy. Yeah, so you uh, you guys did a great job on everything. The one thing I will say is when they send you pre, because it's all pre-cut wood. Yeah. It's harder to build with pre-cut wood than it, 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 you think it's easy, because then you have to put it exactly, exactly the way they out. had it, otherwise it's short and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, you can't stretch so it. So if I were to do it again, I would buy, you can buy the plans and I'd order the materials myself. I see. And not, because everything's cut to length and it was not fun. Yeah, because then you really gotta read the directions, yeah. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, which I can't read, so oh my, that, yeah, that's you... not fun. Oh. What'd you think? Andrew, I'm impressed. It's a beautiful ground setup you have here. Yeah, it's well, gonna be, I'm, I'm sad to leave it. But the new place, I think it's gonna be probably just as good. Well, if not better. You need a new place. Well, not so, but you need some more, you need more space. Yeah, I, realize I ran out of space. What you have with your, your shed barn you have here, you yeah. need some at least twice that size yeah. with all your stuff. At least, yeah. Um, I noticed with your animals down there, we're gonna need some better pinning. Yeah. You know, maybe more steel. Uh, I've got some people that do welding, and okay. we've got some yeah. friends that, yeah. um, that's what they do full time, building metal fences. So. Yeah, that's what we need metal and fence probably. After seeing some of the, uh, your cabin down there, that thing is so nice. I don't, yeah. I, obviously, you brought it in in pieces. Yeah. It'd be nice to figure out how we can take it out in one piece. In one piece, yeah. We have to call it Chad. Chad's confident. He said that he thinks he can move it, but he, can do it, he right? may have to bring an excavator and a dozer and some other stuff. So we got that. And then uh, moving the animals, I'd like to be here when you, you, move, here for when you watch move Ralph. <laughs> you, yeah, you gotta. Yeah. I'll put a halter on him and you can drag him around. Oh yeah, you're like a cane, you can hit him I, with it or yeah. something. And then like Carol that. would be easy. She yeah. looks sort of pretty she's passive. Chill. Yeah, she's chill. chill. Everything you saw today is what I like. Everything on the inside is what Macy likes, so we gotta make sure she's okay. She's taking care of baby right now, so you'll have to come back when the baby's in a better mood and happy. Okay. And then you come back to the house, and I'll give you the full tour of the house because we actually DIY'd a lot of the remodels, so you have yeah. to you have to check well, that looks, out. It's nice and big from here. I can yeah. only imagine from the how outside, nice it, it is. Decent. This has helped me a lot, and I can yeah. <clears throat> work on designing and coming up with some new ideas with what you want and what I think you want, and together we'll we'll figure this all out. Yep. And make it work so that you don't have to move again. Yeah, I don't want to move anymore. This is, it's supposed to be my forever home that you're building. That's yeah, what Macy calls it. And I said, well, it? we've moved four times in the last five years. You know how many people say so. it's their forever house and, and they're still in their 60s or 70s and you're 25? <laughs> you're going to move a few more times. Okay, but, well. But we'll uh, leave room for additions, maybe. Yeah, 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 there you go. I, I don't like think that. you're going to have to move. This will okay. be nice. So. That's good. Well, all I appreciate right. you coming out. Yeah, thanks for having me. Glad, I loved I'm it. I'm glad that you saw all the stuff. Now you can understand all the shenanigans. I always tell you about my shenanigans and you probably didn't quite think. Yeah, I have actual shenanigans out you, here. You There's a lot going on. I can help you with all that. Okay. All right. That was uh, very uh, impressive. I was really excited to finally see what Andrew's uh, home looks like out here in the country. I didn't realize how much vast land he has, but I'm excited now to put together and improve on the plans that we've been working on for his house. Next time I come out, I'll be touring his house and I'll get a better idea of what it looks like his everyday living with his wife, uh, Macy. So I'm uh, Brad the Builder. Thanks for watching and I'm off to the next job site. So I hope you join me.